So you refer、mm -hmm. to people, including yourself, who、uh, gravitate toward a kind of computational thinking as geeks. I've heard, at least I've heard you use that terminology. It, it, it's true that I think there's something that happened to me as I was growing up that made my brain uh, uh, structured in a certain way that that resonates with with computers. So there's this space of people, two percent of the population. You empirically estimate that that's a fair. That's been proven fairly, <laughs> fairly constant over most of my career. However. Uh, it might be different now because kids have different experiences when they're young. So, <laughs> what does the world look like to a geek? What is what is this aspect of thinking that is、uh, unique to、uh, that, that makes they, yeah that makes a geek? This is hugely important question. in In the fifties, IBM noticed that. That、uh, there were geeks and non-geeks, and so they tried to hire geeks, and they and they put out ads for papers saying, you know, if you play chess, come to Madison Avenue and for an interview or something like、right. this. You know, they were they were trying for some things. So what it what what is it that I find easy, and other people tend to find harder? And and I think there's two main things. One is this, which is、uh, ability to to jump jump levels of Of、uh, abstraction,、uh, so you see something in the large,、uh, and you see something in the small, and and、uh, and you pass between those uh, uh, unconsciously. So you, you you know that in order to solve a, some big problem, what you need to do is add one to a、uh, in, to a certain register, and, and that gets you to another step. And、mm -hmm. and, and, be, and below the yeah, I, mean, I don't go down to the electron level, but I knew what. Those milliseconds, where what the drum was like on the 650, I knew how I was going to factor a number or or find a root of an equation or something be,、uh, because of what was doing. And and as I'm debugging, I'm going through, you know, you know did I make a key punch error? Did I <laughs> did I、uh, write the wrong instruction? Do I have the wrong wrong thing in a register? And each level. It, Each level it、uh, is different, and、uh, so、this idea of being able to see something at, at all at lots of levels、uh, and fluently go between them seems to me to be more pronounced, much more pronounced in the, in the people that resonate with computers. Like like I, so in my books, I also don't stick just to the high level, but but、yeah. I but I I, I mix.、Uh, Low level stuff with high level, and this uh, uh, means that some people think,、uh, you know, that uh, that uh, I should write better books,、uh, and it's probably true. But but other people say, well, but that's if if you think like like that, then that's the way to train yourself. Like keep mixing the levels and and learn more and more how to jump between. So that that's the one thing. The other the, the other thing is that it's more of a talent. It, it to be able to deal with um, uh, non uniformity where 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 there's case one case two case three、uh, instead of instead of having one or two rules that govern everything、uh, so so it so it it doesn't bother me if I need uh, uh, like an algorithm has has ten steps to it you know each step is, does does something else that doesn't bother me but a lot of A lot of pure mathematics is based on one or two rules, which which are universal, and and、uh, mm -hmm. and so this means that people like me sometimes work with、uh, systems that are more complicated than necessary because it doesn't bother us、mm -hmm. that we don't that we didn't figure out the simple rule. And you mentioned <coughs> that while Jacobi, Boole, Abel, and all the mathematicians in the nineteenth century may have had symptoms of geek. The first hundred percent legit geek was Turing, Alan Turing. I I think he had yeah a lot more of the of of this、uh, quality than any that,、uh, just from reading the, the the kind of stuff he did. And so, how does、uh, Turing? What influence has Turing had on you? What, well, in your okay, way of thinking. So I didn't know that aspect of him. Until after I graduated, some years I, it, as undergraduate, we had a a, a a class that talked about computability theory and Turing machines, and and it was all 
it, it sounded like a, a very specific kind of purely theoretical mm -hmm. uh, approach to, to stuff. So when, how old was he when I when I learned that he that he had a, a, you know a design machine you know, and that he wrote the you know he, he wrote a wonderful manual for for Manchester machines and uh, and he invented all you know subroutines and 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 he was a real hacker that mm -hmm. that he got had his hands dirty. I I, I thought for many years that he had only done p purely formal work as i started reading his own publications i could you know i could feel this kinship um mm -hmm. and and of course he had a lot of peculiarities uh, like he wrote numbers backwards because i mean left to right instead of right to left because that's the, that's it was easier for computers to process them that way what do you mean left to right he oh. would write pi <laughs> as you know, nine five oh, wow. one four point three. I mean, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> right, uh, got it. Four one point three <laughs> on the blackboard. I mean, when he 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 he, he, he had trained himself to uh, uh, to do that because uh, the computers he was working with uh, uh, worked that way inside. Trained himself to think like a computer. Well, yeah. there you go. That's mm -hmm. that's geek thinking. Yeah.